all right so what is going on today youtube yes yes finally we do have a live duel on this this is going to be a post no not really a live duel. it's going to be a post commentary now i don't know if it's skipping on you guys is in but i hope it's just camtasia because camtasia is, is, is just skipping right now but um hopefully it does not skip actually when i do um upload the video because that'd be very terrible but anyways yes man we are doing a live duel today and as you can tell by the title i am playing my zombie link warrior and my opponent is playing the gem knight fgk deck um so yeah man uh, it, it, it's been a long time i've been saying that i did been wanted to do this and stuff like that and i finally 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 got my chance to actually do it um I definitely have to fix the lighting so just I mean if you, this is the first thing you guys are gonna say I understand that I do need to fix the lighting because uh, <laughs> it is uh, it, it is I, I mean I thought it was it looked at decent on on the camera but now that I'm looking at it right now it is not looking uh, particularly too good but um yeah so right now we're just shuffling just to begin the game off with and we're gonna do a little high roll dice and stuff like that so yeah i don't even have to really explain that to you guys know how Yu-Gi-Oh works but yeah man the light situation I, I don't know like i brought i brought a very bright light but if you can see it's not i think i need to put the light I, if i put it like over there where my extra deck is um it's it's and then like i have to fix that also as you can see like we have the edge of the um we have the edge of the mats like we have a little space that was supposed to you know that, that's definitely supposed to be over so like I, this is my first video so you know I, I tried i tried to do it you know what i mean and you can see i believe i rolled a seven here and then my opponent rolls a four so i'm go ahead and start if you guys already know about this deck you know that you really only need uh, Armageddon Knight and stuff like that. But I'm gonna start off with a Resonator Call because I believe my hand is two Effect Veilers, a Mizuki, a Resonator Call, and um, I think a Positive Inquisitiveness. I'm not sure. I think it's either a Spell or a Trap. Let's see. Let's see if I could. Let's see if I even reveal my hand. Oh no, I'm not revealing my hand. But I do start off with the Red Resonator into the Mizuki. So I can start a, go to a start of Charge Warrior because if I am able to get a army get i mean arm uh, uh, a foolish burial i'm able to you know still play i believe i have two effect veilers and an, yeah an inquisitive is my an inquisitiveness in my hand and i believe i have a twin twister set um technically i don't know what i'm playing so you know twin twister is a good decent card against this uh he starts off with jim armadillo and so i decided to veil because i'm like all right if you're starting off with that you don't have a brain infusion you don't really have that much stuff to go off of so you know i'm going to pretty much be able to beat you here so right here i believe this is either a misplay or this is correct hold on let me check the extra deck right now i'm pretty sure that uh seraph knight requires a gem knight monster um if i'm not mistaken let me see it does need a gem knight monster even though he already had one in his hand um he did use what's the name on the field so that was uh definitely a misplay because i damn sure didn't know um that you needed a gym knight monster so yeah that is one misplay and another misplay that he does is because he said i asked him after the game why did you summon seraph knight in defense mode and he was like oh um because i'm just used to uh <laughs> i'm used to using brain fusion and the attack being zero so that is the reason why he summons a Raph Knight in defense, and it's actually going to be the reason that he ends up losing. And I end up veiling the Seraph Knight because it would not get the um, effect of the double summon. Um, it's not like a Taster. I believe it's not like a Taster, so um, I'm pretty sure he didn't get it. And yes, he does play a cup of ace, and he missed horribly, so I'm able to draw two cards off of that. Uh, if he feels like it's a good card, I mean, if, if you can flip right, I'm guessing it's good, but um yeah if, you, if you're not flipping right then you're not doing good so as you can see i draw um into an armageddon knight and you guys pretty much know this is over he knows it's over i believe he, he goes and he just leaves right now <laughs> he went to go check on his daughter but i'm gonna just say he left because of the otk so i'm just gonna basically finish playing out just so we can see what we're doing here i get a little bit sloppy because i you know already know the game is over he doesn't have a hand trap to stop anything um and yeah this is pretty much link zombie uh, warrior because it's just so busted like armageddon knight is so good um getting a mally just getting two warriors on the field now i'm thinking about playing more more cards my friend did tell me to play overdone burial but this is the previous deck before um all that um this before i added i'm going to definitely change this deck up around and do some different things 
I'm gonna add. Uh, I'm gonna probably add a Fairy Tale Snow over the Burial a Dark Grifer, um, and I believe it was a couple of other cards. I cannot think of them right now, but I'm definitely gonna be um, uh, making some changes to this deck because this deck is just so fun. Um, I'm taking out the Lords because the Lords really you don't really want to banish um, too much. Basically, every dark in the deck you really need, so you don't really want to banish it. Uh, so you know, I'm kind of you know. I will, you know, I just don't want to kind of play Lords anymore. And as you can see there, I was going to add Armageddon Knight, but I did have DDR in my hand. So I was like, hmm, I want to, I want to get a play to the graveyard. So I was going to leave, I was going to banish the DDR for the, um, for the Phoenix Wing Blade and then bring it back with DDR. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to add an extra DDR and an extra Plague. But, uh, yeah, I was going to banish the Armageddon Knight to get to my Plague if I didn't draw it off the Skull Deep pretty much. And here, as you can see, I draw four. Um, I drew into another Armageddon Knight, so that wasn't really the problem. I believe I drew Armageddon Knight, Potter Desires, um, I think a Burial or something? I, I, I do. So I drew something. Um, sadly, we, you're not able to really see the hand. So, um, as you can see, I'm going to use, uh, what's the name's effect, Skoldy's effect, to summon Armageddon Knight. So now I don't have to really banish my Armageddon Knight. I can keep it in the graveyard and stuff like that. And then I'm going to dump, I'm going to use Mizuki because it was already in there from the first turn to bring back the plague. And you guys can already see where this is going. This is why I really, really enjoy this deck. The fact that you can, you know, combo off, draw four, draw eight, keep it going and still have, you know, just the level eight engine. It kind of reminds me of Teledad because we can just spit out level eights. There's so many things to spit out a level eights. Part of the acquisitiveness is just probably just, there's, Oh my god, it's so busted in here, especially when you get a Mally off. It's just, it's just stupid. But as you can see, the game is over, but like I said, he's going to let me play it out. And then uh, in the next duel, I'm going to let him play it out because uh, he opens up with the FTK combo. So, uh, well, the next video, so that's just a little warning. But, yeah, he opens up with the combo, so I'm not going to just, you know, immediately quit. But, uh, yeah, that's for another video. But, yeah, as you can see, I can use the Phoenix Wing Blade. The Phoenix Blade to banish the two set for Scrap Dragon and then uh, pretty much get it off. And as you can see, I'm going to stack for Plague. This game, I mean, I mean, it, it, I can continue to go because, I, like I told you guys, I have DDR in my hand and the Plague. I mean, and the Mally still in the deck. So we can continue to go more, but it is already over. So that was it. All right, for a little intermission, guys, hope you guys are enjoying the video as it is. If you guys want to help support the channel, all I ask for you guys to do is click an ad or donate to my Patreon. That'd be enough for me. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of the duel. All right, so back from the intermission. Uh, yeah, man, we're going in with the game two of the best of three against gym knights and uh let's see what we can do with my zombie link warriors as you can see we're getting a shuffling going but yeah man uh it was, it was so much other stuff i could have did with the deck uh i mean not that with the deck but did last turn but you know i just i you know i just i just went i just did a little bit because you know i didn't want to really just keep just keep 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 going because uh man this this it would have been real 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 bad so yeah um here we go. We're about to get started shuffling the deck and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, man, how are you guys enjoying it? Like I said, uh, uh, actually, not like I said, but in the mid middle of this duel, I think towards the end, the camera is going to get kicked. So, and then it's going to like, it's going to go off a little bit, but it's not going to be something where you can't enjoy what's going on. But uh, yeah, man, it's just going to go off in a little bit. And as you can see, I opened up actually really good. I opened up uh, Solitaire, Mizuki, Solemn, Scolding, and I think uh, an Inquisitiveness or a Twin Twist. So one of the two. And then, uh, yeah, I think that was it. Am I going to show it? I don't know. I think I'm going to show it. I think I'm going to extend my hand um to the camera so you guys can see but as you can see he did open up the uh predator plant scorpio combo so here i'm thinking oh yeah this is uh uh, uh we, we, we're, we're just done for so i'm just sitting there like all right well it looks like i'm not gonna be able to play even though i have a a, a, a decent hand oh i think i have mally in my hand no i no, i have a spell in my hand right do i yeah i do have a spell i just don't remember what it is Oh, I think it's DDR. It may be DDR in my hand. It may be DDR. Um, not too sure, but I know I have Mizuki. Uh, I have Mizuki, Solitaire, Plague, Solemn, Scolding, and another thing. 
The reason I'm playing scolding, I was just basically, like I said in the video, the four traps really don't matter. It's really up to you. Um, you can play whatever you want. I was just testing on scoldings because that's really all I had. Um, you don't have to, you, you know, you, you're not forced to play that. Like I said, there's always can be something different. Um, and here he messes up uh, uh, brilliantly, you know, pun intended, because he does not, he thinks Brock Dragon is only rocks, um, but it's actually three earths. So he most likely could have extended even more. I believe I would have lost this game if he did do the Block Dragon board. Um, he also had what's the name sitting in his hand unexpected dying he didn't use it so that was uh another misplay matter of fact if he did do that he wouldn't have been able to do anything never mind so i don't think because how would he yeah i don't think he was going to be able to have uh two um two gym knights on the field because i believe he has lazuti and Obsidian in his hand so he would have to banish those three to get a black dragon and then he still don't have a gym knight fusion so i don't think yeah i don't think he was going to be able to win regardless i think that um i think unexpected die would yeah unexpected die definitely would have got him there because he would have had a normal gem knight then he could have linked summoned into the courts or whatever it's called and then he would have been able to search the gem knight fusion so definitely a big misplay on his part he uh clearly should have activated that unexpected die but you know mistake mistakes happen misplays do happen um i think i yeah i think i would have been dead if he actually got that off uh yeah yeah he definitely would have otk me because he would have burned me for eight thousand. um but he did not so right now he's thinking of what else can he do um i think he's he's contemplating dropping the black dragon he could have went skull deep um but i'm not sure if he does or do, do not play skull deep but um he can you know he could have went for it if he does play it he definitely could have went to skull deep in four and then kept going and actually would have had a block dragon so technically he would have been so far in advantage and he decides to actually end his turn and then i draw into a mallee and i'm thinking all right what is the plays i can do and as you can see i just start off with the solitaire because i know that's going to be my play regardless of whatever you know outcome i do choose to do um i i know for a fact that we're um that we're definitely going to be using solitaire um, another uh, another change I would be making to the deck is taking out burial from different dimension. It is uh, a card I really do enjoy, but sadly it, it does does not do it doesn't do what it needs to do. Uh, not really what it needs to do, but it's really not um, too productive in this deck. Um, but as you can see, um, I, don't, I don't have it. But right now I'm thinking about what I can do because I do have Mali mizuki and plague in it in my hand so i'm thinking of or the way of i can get pretty much everything and as you can see look he hits the camera right there and actually doesn't move oh he did what does he fix it to where it's, it's messed up now no i think he uh yeah let me see i moved the all right well i mean we made a couple adjustments and as you can see that's a lot better now but uh yeah he does um actually kick it right there and here i'm thinking all right what can i do how can i get you know this plague out of my hand how can I get this Mally out of my hand? I know I can get one of them out of my hand. And here, I start thinking about a certain play. And then I start, and then I was like, wait a minute. I can't continue after that. Um, uh, so as you can see here, I'm going to ditch my Mizuki. Because my in my head, I was thinking, I can ditch Mizuki, banish Mizuki, special summon Solitaire, right? And then right here, I'm going to do DDR discarding Mally to special summon Mizuki. And then I'm thinking to myself, oh, I can special summon Plague. And then I was like... Oh no, I messed up. Right here, I realized is where I messed up because I'm like, ah, I cannot, uh, I can't do what I just I can do. But I do end up saving myself because if I would hurry up already, um, I know that I'm going to DDR discarding uh, Mally to get the Mizuki back, attack over all of his monsters, and then in main phase two, I believe I dropped three, three level eights on here, uh, three level eights kind of. Um, so yeah, uh, I think right here we're going to do is um, attack over his. I, I messed up on attacking, but I do end up fixing my attack because I forgot that the Cobra is uh, what's the name is 1500 defense. So I'm going to attack over that with Mizuki. Attack over the 1200 with uh, Uni, and then the thousand. I mean the five, the uh, hundred, the zero defense, uh, uh, Gym Knight with uh, Solitaire. So here I was going to go Omega. Um, and then I was like, wait a minute. No, I, I can actually do a good play. So here I'm thinking 
do I want to actually send with Unizombie to uh, increase something? Because now I just realized I have go, you know, I'm going to be able to send Gozuki, but then I don't have any zombies in my graveyard. So what I end up doing here is uh, what I'm going to do is use Unizombie's effect to target Solitaire, make that a level five to dump the Gozuki. So now what I can do is use Solitaire and Mizuki to go into a underclock. What's the name? Go into an underclock taker and then uh, go into an underclock taker. And now I can, you know, extend my plays because now it opens up its own because it's 6,000 times better than, uh, what's the name? 6,000 times better than uh, Proxy Dragon um, because, you know, it does point down. And that's the card everybody should immediately replace Proxy Dragon with is Power Underclock Taker because it's just good. So now... Uh, now that I opened up my zone and Uni is still level 4, I can summon Gozuki to dump the Mizuki. Then I can go to an Omega. And then you guys can see where this is going from here. Um, special summon the Omega. Use Omega to push a card out of his hand. And then um, I'm also going to be using Gozuki's effect. Even though I did not, like, I didn't do it, like, I didn't do it correctly. But you guys knew what I was doing. I, 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 that was supposed to be, like, that was supposed to happen first or second. Special summon the uh, uh, Plague Spreader from my hand. And then use Mali to go into two Western. Actually, no, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use Mizuki to bring back the Gozuki. Um, I easily could have just went triple Omega right there and set my hand. But I'd seen another play. Um, I said... You know, F it. We're about to go to start this charge wear, and we're going to get things popping. So now, bam, draw a card off of that. I believe I draw another. I think I draw. I'll do another trap. As you can see, as my hand is. It is a trap, I believe. I'm going to get the Mali out. Bam. We're going to an Isolde. Isolde's going to get us a BLS. And then here, I just, you know, do my standard shenanigans that I do with this deck. And pretty much just uh, flood the board and draw a whole bunch of cards. So my opponent cannot pretty much come back from there. So yeah, man, that's uh, pretty much what ends up selling the duel. His mistakes and my just, my, my thought process. See, this is what happens when I play in real life. I, I kind of really think through my plays because... I, you know, I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm looking at it, except for like Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. I kind of tend to fall off right here. I was trying to exceed, um, but I couldn't because uh, Izo was right there. So I was like, oh, that's 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 not good. And then, uh, yeah, he corrects my zones uh, because, you know, you, you guys can already see that this is all messed up. So I tried to, you know, clean it up a little bit. Um, what do I have? A Sodom Strike and a Scolding in my hand? Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, put the hero. I mean, hero kid goes back over there because you know I'm gonna make it right. I was about to go to the uh, herald exceed, but you definitely can't do that. So here, looking at my graveyard, I know I have a plague left, so I'm trying to see what else I can do. So here, I'm just gonna use the Mali because I need to free up. I need to free up some of my zones, and I definitely should possibly play a boar load or something else, something a firewall, something. I do need to play something different that's generic that can just use hero kids. Except for Skull Deep, because there's been a couple of times where it came up where I needed, you know, I needed to Skull, I needed uh, to go into a powerful Link Four, and um, yeah, that is, you know, not good when you only run Skull Deep. So here I'm going to draw four. Um, it's really the, the four, draw four really doesn't matter. It kind of does, but it really doesn't matter because oh, he already seen it. So that's exactly a card I'm going to definitely be putting back. Um, it's not really something I want in my hand as of right now. So I'm gonna yeah go ahead and put those three back, and then I believe I use Skoldeed's effect if I'm not mistaken. Um, no, I'm doing check my graveyard again, and I believe yeah like I said I believe I go Skoldeed and uh, special summon Red Resonator to gain uh what's the name gain uh pretty much gain uh gain um gain 2800 life points uh and then I'm going to exceed into what's the name. Uh, the hero to uh, I think put back a hero kid um, if I'm not mistaken because there's really nothing else that uh, There's really nothing else to really put back because uh, I mean, it's just <laughs> what it is it's Not really too much to put back nothing. I really want into my hand and so here what I'm going to do is use my uh, Use the what's the name use the divine wind to uh, go ahead and stack for plague Um I didn't even shuffle my deck. I just like noticed that I didn't even really shuffle my deck. And so this is why my Skodeep was terrible because I drew into another hero. <laughs> I just realized I didn't really shuffle my deck 
because I thought I, I you know, I thought I was doing some. Uh, wait, I did. I think I kind of shuffled my deck, but I didn't really get a good shuffle. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just gonna go to a skull deed, activate Pot of Desires to draw ten, <laughs> draw two more cards. Man, this deck is just so fun, and the fact that we're at sixty, we don't really bend anything too good. As you can see, I drew into a soul charge, and I'm like, oh man, why are we in main phase two? But as you can see, my banish having Omega coming back next turn. I have a BLS pretty much coming out next turn. Um, I also have a uh, what's name Phoenix Blade sitting in my hand, and I'm just gonna set the Solemn Scolding, and I believe I have Effect Veiler in my hand. So if my opponent can uh, get through that, then I mean I'm just supposed to lose. But as you can see, he kicks the camera. I mean one more time. He kicks the you know the, the pretty much the stand one more time, um, and then yeah. So yeah, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much what happens right there. But like I said, it's not. It didn't really affect the view. It's just uh, it happens. So here's going to play the unexpected die. And I'm like, okay, that's completely fine. You can do whatever you want. Anything that's threatening me is going to get scolding. And uh, the the Gem Knight Link is definitely going to get, uh, what's the name, going to get effect veilered because uh, I, I don't want him to get to that Gem Knight Fusion. That's really what you have to stop in this deck is you have to stop the gym night you have to stop the ad of the gym night fusion once they get that you're getting otk so if you're very afraid of this deck pick up some dd crows pick up some lancias pick up a you know hanawadas whatever you need to pick up because this deck may be something to you have to fear because it's so easy to pull off all their combos um and as you can see here, I'm going to use the effect veiler. So, you know, I mean, like I said, it's, it's very easy to pull off their combos and it's, they're very consistent because you can, you know, they have brain fusion. They have so many ways to search. They have armadillo. They have so much different things to do. Block dragon gets them three, like gets them a plus three. Technically, it's it's really, really, really crazy. So as you can see here, after I, I after I veil the Gemini fusion, he's pretty much stuck to, you know, not doing anything of uh pretty much important so here Christ wait all the way to the end and y'all Jesus this this was a very long video about twenty two minutes going in right now so he's gonna summon Black Dragon and so here I'm thinking all right you know I think Black Dragon actually can't be destroyed by battle so I'm thinking okay well how am I gonna get over it really with BLS I don't really want to banish it I kinda just want to get over it um but Black Dragon only protects from destruction pretty much um, but they can be destroyed by a battle. So here, um, he's going to summon uh, Black Dragon in my uh, in the Skull Deed zone, so it can gain 300, and it's pretty much at 28. And I go to here to read it again because I'm like, oh wait a minute, that's, that's oh no, I'm about to lose here because he might get something. So we activate the effect, and I activate the Solemn Scolding, pay my 3,000, but technically only pay uh, 200 because uh, don't forget we gained. 2800 from the red resonator so you know that was uh that and then he attacks me with the gym Knight court which is all fine and dandy and as you guys know you know this game is pretty much over because uh, i have a omega coming back i have a bls to be dropped and all of the nasty goodness so yeah thank you guys for watching i ended up taking a 2-0 victory over gym Knights. Hope you guys did enjoy that. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to uh, help the channel out, click and add or donate to my Patreon. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video.